Log 060921. Last time on Metroid Prime, we made our way from Fendrana Drifts. Thank you for rudely interrupting me. <clears throat> Last time on Metroid Prime, we went from Fendrana Drifts to Magmore Caverns to the Talon Overworld, went through the Space Pirate Frigate, the crashed Space Pirate Frigate, got a few more pickups, and ended up in the phase on mines and in this episode we're going to be heading over to the central dynamo rather change up an in introduction i am coach shirt tie let's begin let us head deeper in to the phase on mines ah these poor turrets are, have respawned up again it gets in here now all right that takes care of that we're gonna have to deal with two of these scans in order to open up these doors the secondary, and the primary is right over here. That kills the main entrance, and we're we'll be going through the meat of this entire part. Get some more energy pickups. Only puts me to about 105. And I think, I think it'd be good if we went up here and uh, did some rearranging of that crane. And also made some good work of those pirates. Come on! Where are you? You still take two hits! Where's your third friend? And knowing them, they probably have a spare guy. Just head up here. That opens! Not enough to deter me. Please let me uh, shoot my missiles. All right. No. Uh, where? Where are you? Oh wait, no, you're probably have to go around here and take a go into the rocks right here. All right. Now that we're on top of here, that's going to be rather handy to have, especially when we're going to be coming back here. That door. It's going to serve as a very handy shortcut if we get further down it. Right here, let's scan this. The crane is currently in use. And the reason I want to use this crane later on is because that crane has a spider track that moves all the way to the left right here. There's a power up just in that area. Let's activate it just for uh, convenience sake. There's a power conduit need by that we need to activate. Not too far from here. Uh, just there we go. And that power conduit is on. Everything turns green. And it'll stay green, hopefully. That effectively changes the crane in order to hit that part right there, leading to a missile expansion. We'll come back to here and reorient the crane to hit that other side, make it a little bit easier to come back. Morph Ball! Can I not? Oh, I have to jump. Okay. Not too difficult. All right, now that we're out of here, we can't. Um, is there any way? Oh. You know what? We've done what we can here. There's an easy way back up. Let's move deeper in just as soon as we get more missiles. Back at 100. We'll be relying on the ice to get a majority of these doors open. Also, we'll be dealing with a lot more uh, auto turrets. Go both of them? Yes, it did. Huh. Appears to be something behind this thing, but we can't even get to it. I wonder what it is, though. I haven't seen this before. Probably another missile expansion. We'll be back, though. <laughs> so much for using that perimeter defense turret disabler. Alright. 
Oh crap, we were... This guy's gonna be a lot more common as well. We'll be dealing with space pirates. Shadow pirates, specifically, so we're gonna be making good use of the, uh... Good use of thermal visor. And the hateful part about this is that I'm gonna have to be dealing... I'm keeping my wave beam on, because we're gonna be dealing with a new type of enemy. Disable this though. I remember doing this at one point. I guess we'll have to continue onwards up this path. Right up here. Let's keep our wave beam on. We'll be encountering some heavy resistance as soon as we get into this part. And we are now introduced to a new type of space pirate. These guys are purple oriented. Meaning, they are wave beam troopers. Let's quickly scan these guys. These guys take a good amount of our energy. They tried reverse engineering our stuff. We're gonna give them a taste of their own medicine. Ugh. It's so difficult to fight in close quarters. And given the fact that we did see three of them in that cutscene, there's bound to be. And if you know how to time your charge beams right, we're able to kill them. And that should unlock all the doors that we need. Well, yeah. At least unlocks the, uh, the back door. Alright, is there anything here that we need to get to? Microfractures present in Medesium Blast Gate. So, that Blast Gate is currently blocking that red door, that plasma beam door. We're definitely going to be back here. And we're definitely going to be taking the long route just to get over here, anyways. It's quiet. Too quiet. Uh, hello? I have a good feeling we're going to be... Yep, we're going to be attacked. You're no different from the space pirates. You just take one more hit to kill. I think there's another one here, too. Come on! You're not scary. Alright. We'll jump up here. Another one of these uh, upward hatches. Come on, open the door! Um... Okay! I'm, su I'm very surprised that you didn't have that owes me. All right, where are your friends? But, ooh. Oh, there's a friend. You may roll, but you can't roll a second time. Get busy like Link. Ooh. Unit ident code EPG8642, batch 23. Field designation, Elite Pirate Alpha. Stasis thermal tank, hull, reinforced with indesium alloy plates. <laughs> Given the fact that this thing has a weakness, we're going to be fighting with it. And that scans those platforms on, leading us to the second floor of this place. Or if you're European, the first floor. Let's see if we can get some more scans here. Being this the phase on mines and the main part of this operation, there's bound to be pirate data. Log 11.001.9. Initial Project Helix experiments with space pirate embryos were disastrous. The phase on infusion process degenerated brain tissue even as it augmented muscle mass. None of what we have termed elite pirates lived to maturity. The few that survived their infanthood suffered severe psychotic breakdowns as juveniles, killing anything within their zone of perception. Research team Sclera made a recent breakthrough in which parasite studies with a phase on strain codename Vertigo were highly successful. Since then, we have fused Vertigo phase on with space part DNA with great success. The latest batch of elite pirates have reached maturity successfully, and are now ready for field testing and training. Uh, not to mention the, uh, the wave beam troopers. We're going to be dealing with elite pirates. Recommended battle system for elite pirates are as follows. 
shoulder-mounted plasma artillery cannon, repulsion sealed, wave quake projector, energy siphoning system, and retractable wrist bayonets. Rather composite weapon system, but it is a telltale sign of what we'll be experiencing if we do ever if we encounter these elite pirates. Alright. More wave beam troopers. You can tell by their distinct purpleness. But they can still be defeated by their own medicine. And they can't run. <laughs> they can't run from a charged shot, that's for sure. And timing those charged shots right can give us a better advantage to keep them stun locked. And there are definitely more where that came from. Let's go behind these doors. See if we can't find ourselves that scannable item. Deactivates those shields. Makes another round of those plates active. Platforms. And I think there's another lore. And another pirate data. Security alert. All stations. Bioform Samus Aran has made a planet fall on Talon 5. 4. <laughs> Far 5. The hunter is among us. All units are ordered to attack Iran on site. Terminal forces authorize. Report sightings of Iran to security command at once. Huh. They probably, uh, probably alerted to our presence. Alright. Any more wave troopers that we have to deal with? I can see one on the scan. Ooh, no! You're a new type! You're gonna be a lot easier to deal with. You're power troopers. Somehow, you've managed to take the power beam and made it yourself. Unfortunately, I have an easy way to take you down. Be a lot quicker than the wave beam. Super missile! <laughs> and that little telltale sign that there was an item expansion in the nearby. We gotta make use of this pulse beam right here. Alright. There's a spinner right over here that we can use to move that pulse beam. And for convenience sake, we'll scan this in order to activate that pulse beam. Activates that. Brings that door online, but we need to continue rotating that pulse beam to the left side of this room. And of course, if you get hit by the pulse beam, you do get damaged. Right over here. Disengage with the bomb. Out of morph ball mode. Scan it. A lot quicker this time around. Leading us to a missile expansion. Therefore puts our total to, I think, 115? I'll find out sooner or later. But onwards. And I don't mind getting hit. Note to self, you do not take fall damage. Kind of need to worry about getting hit. Alright. Okay, looks like we're gonna be inside this area. Rather complex puzzle, but we'll manage. I think we'll be dealing with power beam troopers this time around. You're a nuisance. And you were easily dealt with. Even though you did damage me. I guess we're not letting them get too close to me. But the door we want to go to is the one on the left of this room. Because the one on the right leads back to the main quarry. Okay. Don't lose my nerve just yet. Let's see if I could still remember how to do this puzzle. I remember carefully, we need to get the blue one onto that one. And then we orient it. Just on top of this. Uh. Wait, what? Hold on. Oh. 
No wonder. I have to use that blue slot that I found. Why did I move it? One mistake out of many. And either way, I haven't played this game in a long time. So we'll mosey on our way here. We'll probably get another space pirate encounter as soon as we hit the bottom of this thing. Given the distance between here. Huh. No. Alright. Not much going on. Maybe this red one needs to be over here. Let's see. Yeah, that sounds to be right. For good measures... Okay, we need to move that red one right over on the other side. Just one bomb. Why did I exit out of the Morphball Bomb? Opens that. No, that's not aligned. We have to move it two, three times. Well, two times, given the fact that we already moved it once. And... There. Let's see if that works. Red guy, up the spider track, right the spider track, up, right, up and back. Oh, looks like we've got some resistance coming. Oh, uh, wrong beam. And it appears we've gotten the wrong door to go to. Alas, we'll move onwards, as expected. You guys give me pop power-ups. I would love for it to give me a little bit more energy. Maybe some missiles. Oh! No, we only get damage once. A lot less harsher than expected. Alright. Back there, that was level one. We're going to level two. I'm reminded about this, uh, the first time I went through here. I struggled. <laughs> the amount of energy tanks I have now was just a giant insurance case. Back then, I had only found about six. And I was really careless in how... I was really careless in being able to work... Let me see if I can retract that phrase. I was very careless in dealing with those wave beam troopers and those powered beam troopers, that's for sure. So a lot of the times I had to stay... <laughs> I had to rely on just these little dinky crates right here at the front to restore some of my energy in the hopes of getting energy. I only got... Ooh, more of you. Let's see if I can get more missiles out of you. I stay away from it just enough so I don't get exploded. Ooh, and we're at 115. I was right. Oh, and there's another item right here. Just missile this one. Oh, if you can scan it as well. No, you don't need to scan it. Just hit, hit that explosive crate right there. <laughs> and somehow inadvertently explode the space part hiding underneath there. Uh, your death was not in vain. At least to my accord. Is there another one of you guys? Wait. I managed to kill both of you in that blast? Man, I'm good. But here we are in level two. And here we are with another enemy. Eh, nothing important. But what's more important is that guy encased in there right after we get this pirate data. Log 11.156.9. Test subject, Z, D, hereafter referred to as Metroid Prime, was recently discovered in a cavern by mining crews. It quickly dispatched the miners, but was eventually contained by security units and drones. Once contained, we were able to begin studies upon Metroid Prime. The results have been astonishing. It is genetically similar to Metroids, albeit on a highly evolved level. It displays a limited capacity for phase-on infusion, and shows no phase-on-based degeneration whatsoever. 
it continues to grow in size, and while it has manifest some psychotic behavior, the cold fields we've used to pacify remain effective. Authorization for advanced studies on Metroid Prime have been approved. And another pirate data right here. Log 10.023.7 Security Command issued an all points alert after the fall of Zebes. The alert concerns Bioform Samus Aran, also known as the Hunter. Subject is a female hominid, and is heavily armed and extremely dangerous. Subject uses a powerful armor suit, a powered armor suit of unknown design in battle, along with a number of potent beam and concussive weapons. All combat units are instructed to terminate Iran on sight, preferably in a fashion that would allow salvage of her powered armor suit and weapons. A considerable bounty will go to the unit that is up who delivers Iran to command. Dead or alive, it matters not. So I'm guessing the uh, science team, possibly behind this elite pirate over here, which is what they're doubly called. I wonder if that kills me. If that thing does kill me, where would that reward go to? Alright, let's immediately scan you. That is an elite pirate. Well armored. Strong. Well armed. Potent foes. Now, let's scan that thing on your back. Plasma artillery cannon. Extreme thermal streak due to lack of shielding. Avoid beam fire when uh, energy second units. Uh, come on. Come on, hit me. Hit me. Oh. Oh, darn it, the beam form. Come on. Come on, take it. Take every little bit of my energy. I want you to make use of it so you can fire that beam cannon so I can start using plasma. So I can start hitting super missiles against you. Ugh. You are so slow. Oh! Yeah, you're extremely slow. And with that electric blast, I'm gonna be dealing with more enemies. Let's exterminate them quickly so we can scan the area for any more clues. And just like your, just like your ice beam weaknesses, oh, let's scan you first. You're definitely weak to being frozen and missiled. Any more of your guys? What, are you downstairs or something? Come on! Oh no, you're not downstairs. You're still upstairs. Let's find you then. Oh no, you dodged. But you didn't dodge this one. Alright, that clears up that area. Let's quickly get to scanning this area before we continue onwards. Here's another one. Log 11.222.8. Science team is attempting to reverse engineer Samus Aran's arsenal, based off of her data acquired from our assaults on our forces. Progress is slow but steady. Command would dearly enjoy turning Aran's weapons against her. We believe that we can implement beam weapon prototypes in three cycles. Aran's power suit technology remains a mystery, especially the curious morph ball function. All attempts at duplicating it have ended in disaster. Four test subjects were horribly broken and twisted when they engage her in our morph ball prototypes. Science team wisely decided to move on afterwards. Eh. Can't copy perfection. Eh. And a lot more information regarding the space parts. Nothing more here. There's another scannable item right there, but it's nothing too much. So they're using to feed those pirates over there after learning about that vertigo strain, whatever they're dealing with. Nothing much in this area since there's no sound, just ambiance. Oh. And contrary to popular belief, I thought those were I thought those were power conduits. 
more items to scan. I think... Nope. Oh, no. Oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, we're able to bypass it. Suck it! Uh, nothing much in the nothing much in the data of finding pirate data in here. It's all just information. Oh, but there's two here. Log eleven point six six four point two. There have been numerous incidents involving spectral entities at Chozo ruin sites. Several personnel have been assaulted by these Chozo ghosts. Few have survived. Survivors speak of swift attacks from nowhere, brief sightings of the enemy, then nothing, only to be followed by another attack. Science team believes these attacks are in response to our efforts to recover Chozo relics and artifacts. Somehow these attendees are able to interact with the physical world, and it appears they wish to keep their artifacts to themselves. We will make them pay for such arrogance, for even ghosts can be destroyed. Eh, they can be destroyed, but not in the way that you're thinking. Another data right here. Log 11.377.1. Subject Metroid Prime's breach has been contained. Reports indicate that it sensed a large batch of raw phazon in the lab from within its stasis tank and broke through the glass, using previously unsuspected strength. Besides consuming all of the phazon, Metroid Prime assimilated several weapons and defense systems from fallen security units. It had suffered no ill effects from said assimilation. Indeed, it began to use its newly acquired weapons against us. Once we pacified it, we were unable to remove the assimilated gear without threat to Metroid Prime. The gear is now an integral part of its body. Command is intrigued by this newfound ability, and has ordered further study to commence at once. title sake of this game, and we're already being fed a good amount of information about this thing. Thing is loaded and ready to kill. Another pirate data behind us. Log 11.440.4. Results are in from field studies. Wow. <laughs> Results are in from field studies on extinct bioform group Chozo. We believe that Talon 4 was once a stronghold in a great Chozo Empire, brought low by the meteor strike. Planetary devastation brought an end to the Chozo, yet remnants of their society remain. We are studying these relics in an attempt to harness their power. What is of no use to us, we destroy. In time, we will have all we need from this dead race, and shall wipe this planet clean of their ugly ruins. The dead should serve the living, not hinder them. True on that account. Another data right here. Log 11.452.8. We are particularly interested in a number of curious Chozo artifacts we have been able to recover from a number of religious sites on Talon 4. These relics resonate with power, and yet we are unable to harness them in any way. Science team is attempting to fuse them together with Phazon, believing that a link that might exist between them. We know that these artifacts are indeed linked to the Chozo Temple that blocks full access to the Impact Crater. We have yet to crack the stigma, however. Command grows impatient regarding this matter. Results must be produced soon. Ah, and more data, but let's see if this one leads to another. No, it doesn't. Log 11.402.5 Metroid Prime continues to grow and feed even larger in the Impact Crater caves. Its hunger knows no bounds, and it has begun to manifest unusual mutations since its breach. These include armor plating on its epidermis, and mechanical outgrowths that generate defense, defense screens. These screens render it invulnerable to most weapon systems, but a flaw in the mutation leads to increased vulnerability in certain weapons. It compensates, this, it compensates for this by shifting to the screens quickly. This latest development concerns security units greatly. They feel it's a matter of time before Prime corrects this defect, and renders itself invulnerable to all weaponry. Containment would be nigh impossible if this were to occur. And just to the left of it... That force field is offline. And we continue deepwards into this place. 
another energy tank located behind this. Not much we can do. Let's get out of here. And I do mean we need to get out of here. We got puffers and toxic gas. Nothing we have to worry about. We continue onwards deeper into this menace. Let's scan this first. Nah. Nothing much here. Uh. No! Oh! One! Two! I'll deal with you later. Wait. Are you a different guy? No, you're the same guy. I can kill you. There's bound to be more of these guys right here. Let's go to the other side and see if we can get more energy pickups. Alright. We'll make our way down that little path right here. I don't think there are anything scannable right here. Just nothing. Nothing just... Nothing of the sort. Deactivate that force field. Power troopers. Easy to deal with. Line them up. And you're... Ah, oh, I didn't get you. Where's your friend? There's still more of you? Oh no, the uh, music just triggers slowly. Alright. There's bound to be more here. Alright. Unauthorized Metroid feeding... Ooh! Uh, no, not another Elite. Alright, maybe this one. Here we go. Log 11.232.8. Elite Pirate Upsilon's propensity for Phazon has enabled our pre-search team to infuse it far beyond our safety restrictions, and the results have been extremely encouraging. Its constant Phazon diet has increased its mass exponentially, but it has retained all mental faculties and shows dexterity with all elite weaponry, including plasma incendiary launchers and the Chameleon Manta, and the Chameleon Manta issued for cloaking purposes. Elite Pirate Upsilon exhibits miraculous healing abilities. When injured, it seeks out phase on deposits and coats itself in the substance, which instantly mends the creature's wounds. The subject, which you are codenaming Omega Pirate, based on these developments, shows potential to be a new standard for our armies. Our only concern at this point is its potential overdependence on phase on. Any more things to scan? Aerial units, Sigma 4 is in effect. Increased bomber patrols. Oh, the bombers are... <laughs> Man, they stole them. Elite units report a 74% ratio against Iran in testing. My command is complete speed. Higher ratio by project end. Ah, oh, 74%. Still a 24% chance, well, 26% chance to kill off those elite pirates. Just as we did in that previous room, just a few rooms ago. Any more? Enemies will tremble before the might of our elite forces. That's cute. Eh. Nothing of note here. We'll move downwards. Huh. Imagine facing off this thing in this small in these small quarters. Alas, we move onwards. And we're currently gonna be entering into the central dynamo. We already scanned that door. Uh, is there anything to scan right here? Phase on processing and security systems are taxing the dynamo beyond safety tolerances. Though the conversion to geothermal power is easing the drain on our systems, it is not enough. Further power use at current levels could lead to system failure. Dynamo maintenance team is not responding to service call. Rewriting request to central command. Well, since they're not responding, and since we're on the job, I say we do a little bit of rework on this thing. Uh-oh. Oh, come on. No 
for being an invisible enemy, I was half expecting you to take a lot of harder time. But, with that explosion, it opens up the underbelly of this dynamo. And yet another puzzle we have to deal with. Alright. Okay, I think we moved no way. Down, mind not getting hit by the electric beams. A little more. Let's see if we can only damage a few times. Oop. Oh! Oh! Uh, to the right. Move quickly. Oh! Move to the left. Steady. And upwards more. And there is a pool of water. Strangely here. And it's blocking our progress. So! Get rid of it. Bomb it. To the right here, move up, move right, oop, move up, and there's another pool of water right there, move down, careful not to get hit, well, that opens that, and we can move all the way to this thing right here, only getting hit once. And with the destruction of the electric dynamo, we have obtained the power bombs. While in Morph Ball mode, press Y to release a power bomb. Power bombs can destroy tougher materials than Morph Ball bombs. Additional data, press start to inventory screen. And sim and the very thing that they are weak to, that power bombs are strong against, before we head there. If I could scan it. These collapse bendesium walls. Observe. With these newfound power bombs, you have the ability to go deeper and even get more items, especially within this area. But for now, let's see if we can find more scannable items in this place. Nothing on here, nothing in this area. Let's go to this unblocked ice door. Oh, there are no fish here. But they still have nice taste they have a nice taste for decor. Alright, save. Shower it up. And a recap. We did a lot of exploring on the Phazon mines, made our way down to the central dynamo, encountered an elite pirate before that. And we obtained power bombs. And those power bombs are gonna be extremely useless. Extremely useless in the fact that we're still in the phase on mines. And we are going to have to backtrack all the way to Talon Overworld to, to get our next item. <coughs> we'll see you guys then.